Hey beauties, it's Jadis here and welcome back to my channel. Now I know I have on the same outfit as the previous video. I just um, got done filming a um, Roxbox unboxing video. Um, I'll leave that link down below. You guys should go check it out. I also have a coupon code that you can use um, for one free month of Roxbox and it's Indulgent6 XOXO so you guys should check that out. But um, the reason why I made this video, this, this is going to be like a story time video of what happened on... Monday, what's today? Today is Thursday. And something crazy happened to me, y'all. Um, like, on Monday, I was I had to go to school. I had class at 10 o'clock, but I decided to leave early um, for some reason. But, oh, I went to go get gas. And then after gas, um, I went to go get something to eat because I was like really really hungry and like I needed some coffee to like pick me up because I had a test that day or that morning and um so I went to I get I go get my gas I hop on the freeway I go to McDonald's that's like down the street from my school um I go to McDonald's and I park and I rush out of the car and I lock the keys in the car y'all have y'all ever done that? I have never locked the keys in the car before. I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I locked the, I locked the keys in the car, I was like, oh my gosh, I just, all I wanted to do was go get some food and something to drink to get me ready for this test, and I locked my keys in the car. So, me panicking, I shut the keys in the car, and on top of that, my phone was in the car. My phone was in the car. Like, how are you gonna lock the keys and your phone in the car? Like, Jadis, what is wrong with you? I don't know what was going on with me that morning, but yeah, it happened. I was like, shoot. I, so I went to McDonald's and I started asking hella random people like, do you guys know how to open a car door? Do you know how to open a car door? Do you know how to open a car door? And everybody was telling me, no, I'm sorry. I don't know how to open a car door. I was like, shoot. So um, I see this family sitting down eating breakfast. Um, and I was like, hey do you guys know how to use how to open a car door and they're like no but usually if you call the police um they will open the car for you with no issues and i was like oh my gosh awesome and i was like well i lock my phone in the car as well <laughs> so do you mind if i use one of your phones to call the police and so they're like sure sure no problem so i used their phone to call the police Told them where I was, and uh, well, I didn't actually talk to the like police yet. It was like a dispatcher or something like that, and she was asking me a whole bunch of questions. She's like, "What's my name? Uh, where am I located?" And blah, 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 blah. And then she asked, "So, ma'am, what is your emergency?" And I'm like, "Well, I locked my keys in the car, and I was on my way to school, and like, I really don't know what to do." And she's like, "Okay, well, um, is there a pet or animal locked in the car?" And I was like. No. Is there a child locked inside of the car? No. And she said to me, well, I'm sorry, man. We're not going to be able to help you because it is not a real emergency. And I was like, is education not important? Oh my gosh. So she would not help me. The police won't help me. These people at McDonald's don't know how to open car doors. I'm just SOL, basically. So right across the street from the McDonald's is an automotive shop, and I was like, okay, okay, let me go over there and see if they can help me out. Somebody there, somebody there that knows how to do it. So I go, walk over to the automotive shop, then I um, talk to this guy who was working on the car or in front of the, the shop or whatever, and I asked him, I was like, hey, do you know how to open a car door? He's like, no, but go inside and check and see if somebody else does or talk to the manager, blah, blah, whatever. So I go inside and I talk to this guy, um, and I was like, sir, I just locked my keys in my car. Do you know how to open the car door? And he's like, I'm sorry, hon, we don't do that here. And I was like, y'all, I felt like so hopeless. Like I started to shed some tears. And I, he, he gave me a number to a towing company that would come out and open the car. And I was like, I know it's gonna cost some money to open the car. So I called them and I talked to this lady and I was like, hey, I'm at so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so and I left my keys in the car and can you help me, basically? And they're like, well, sure, we can open the car door for you. And I'm like, okay, how much does it cost? She's like, oh, it's only gonna be $75 to open the car. $75? Jesus, y'all, like that's when I hit, like I just started, like tears just started like scrolling down my eye, like my face, I was like so, 
upset with myself like jazz like dang how can you lock your keys in the car i mean i know people do it like and i wasn't really thinking about it but i was like okay i'll call you back but i wasn't gonna call her back i thought about um how tyrell my boyfriend tyrell he keeps his spare key in his wallet or normally does and i'm like okay let me call him and our roommate rafi she goes to the same school as i do as i do and um she was supposed to be coming up here, uh, coming up to the school at 11 o'clock. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll make my test in time because my actual test was at 11.30 and I had a regular class at 10. But um, I was like, okay, cool. So I'll call Tyrell. And I had to use the uh, automotive shop's phone. They're like, yeah, use it. to call as many times you need. I was like, okay. So I call Tyrell. He doesn't answer. Keep calling. I 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 keep calling. He does not answer the phone. So I'm like... <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! What am I gonna do? Tyrell's gonna be mad at me. I have a test at 11:30. I, I, this is not happening to me, like legit. So I call for like the 15th time. He picks up and says, "Hello." I was like, "This is how I was with 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 him." So oh, babe, um, like don't get mad. Why would I, why would I get mad? So I lock your keys in the car. He said, "What?" you lock the keys in the car? I was like, I'm sorry, you never locked the keys in the car before? He's like, yeah, but I've always had the spare. And I'm like, okay. I was like, okay, so that brings to that brings me to what I'm about to say. So Rafi goes to school at 11, and 11, 11 or 11.30, and uh, she normally comes up here. So could you tell her to bring the keys with her up here? He's like, okay, yeah. He goes to his wallet, searches for the key. It is not there. He gets back on the phone with me and says, babe, it's not in here. Where's the key? He doesn't know. He searches, he searches. I, st I start freaking out. Like, what do I do now? Ty like, that was like my last hope. Like, y'all, at that moment, like, all I could do was pray. Like, legit, like, I, I felt so hopeless right then and there. Like all I could, all I did, all I did was just, I just started praying, and I, t I was tearing the guy, the guy, I, the guy at the automotive shop. He felt so bad for me. Like he wished that he could do something for me, and but he couldn't do that. And I, I understood that. So I just started praying and praying. Like Lord Jesus, what's gonna happen? I need to get to school. The keys are locked in the car. Tyrell doesn't know where his spare key is. What am I gonna do? So, a few moments later, me after me praying and crying and just being hopeless and all that, a tow truck pulls up with another car in front of the automotive shop. And the guy who was, help, was you know, let me use the phone, he was like, hey, maybe this guy can help you out. I was like, I can't, I can't do, nothing, do nothing else but ask because he was like legit my last resort. So he walks in to the shop and he sees me, you know, tearing up, crying and all that stuff. And he's like, and I, um, the, the guy who was helping me out, he's like, sir, this young lady has locked her keys in the car and she has to go to school. She has a test at 1130. And would you be able to possibly help her out in any way? And I'm like, is there any way that you can help me? Like, if, if you can open the car door, I'll be able to pay you back. I get paid on Friday. Like, is there any way that you could possibly open the door? He says, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. And he goes to the bathroom. And I'm like, I'm in disbelief. Like, did he just say that he, he'll help me out? And then the guy who was, I, can, I cannot remember this guy's name for the life of me who was helping me out, um, who let me use the phone. He was like, yeah, maybe he'll do it by... Um, uh, the goodness of his heart and it was raining that day too y'all like it was just all bad it was raining I locked my keys in the car I locked my phone in the car I asked people at McDonald's if they knew how to open car doors I went to the automotive shop nobody else could help me but this uh, this guy with the tow truck he walks out of the bathroom and the guy says so you're gonna help this young lady out out of the kindness of your heart because it is raining outside and he says yeah, sure, no problem. I'll help you out for free. When I tell you that there is a God, like nobody, nobody can tell me that there isn't a God. Like I, 
right then and there, like, I, my prayers had been answered. Like, seriously, like, I, I felt so hopeless. Like, there was nothing that I, I don't know how to open a car door. Apparently, not that many other people know how to open car doors. But I know that there were some out there in the world that know how to open them. But, y'all, he said he would do it for free. So... After he's done doing what he was doing at the car shop, he meets me at the McDonald's where I was stuck. And he opened the car door and didn't charge me a thing. God is good. Like, God, is, like, when I tell you, like, I felt completely hopeless, I just, I had to stay prayed up because I had to tell, like, at that point, I didn't care if I missed my first class. All I cared about was making it to my test, my lab test that I had to get to and actually open in the car because we need the car to get around. So I asked him, I was like, are you hungry? He's like, I mean, no, not really. I was like, you know what, let me get you something to eat because we were at the McDonald's anyway. He's like, oh no, sweetheart, you don't have to. Like, let me get, I have to give you something because you, he did not have to do that for me. And I, like, once he was finished, he's like, oh, you're so sweet, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't even get his name, you guys. Like, I feel so bad that I didn't get his name because he did that out of the kindness of his heart. He did not have to do that for me. But you know what? God is good, and he made, he made a way out of no way. And once I got in my car, I just, I just broke down. I'm not going to do it right now, but, whew. I broke down and I started crying because I started praising God. I was like, you know what? I I legit take God for granted. Like, seriously. Like, I, I, I need to be prayed up more. And he reminded me that he's still here. Well, that being said, y'all, God will make a way out of no way. He helped me through that rough time. He helped me through a whole bunch of other times. But, you know, that time I really, really needed him. And when I thought that there was no way that I was getting these keys out of this car, because I would get the guy, one of the guys was like, I can give you a wire hanger, but that's the best I can do. I was like, see, if I mess up this car, then it's going to cut. No. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that, like, God is good. He made a way out of no way for me. He will do it for you. You just have to trust and believe. Because believe me, I, I, start, I had to start praying because I, I didn't know what to do. And Tyra was kind of pissed off at me. But, you know, now I can laugh about it. You know, leave it, locking the keys in the car. I had never done that before. But he, he sent me an angel, basically. He had him come to the automotive shop, use the bathroom, and help me out. Like, that's dope. God, we we here but yes you guys i hope you guys enjoyed my little story like it's not i've never done this on my channel before but you know i figured like i just share it with you guys because it was something that happened to me and i figured you guys want to know about it me locking my keys in my car but so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up um yeah, you guys, I just, I still can't believe it. But yeah, um, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, always remember that you are beautiful beyond measure. And that God is good and he will make a way out of no way. Okay? Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!